I just snuck into Joey Harrington's closet and he got some heat. Let's check out his collection. All right, man. So we've been talking about this for a long time. I'm excited <laughs> to see the shoe collection. I know you got some Oregon Grails and some different stuff. Okay, you, you say you're excited to see this. Like, we've talked about this too. It's not like there's any, like, it's not that great compared to what I'm sure you, you, cause my, like, we talk about like sneaker journey. My sneaker journey right. is very different. Yeah. Like it's all about, um, it's all about community. It's yeah. all about like Northeast Portland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, like I didn't get my first pair until, um, God, I was after 30. Okay. Like I seriously yeah. didn't have a pair of, uh, of Jordans until I was after 30. Cause you know, I was the kid that our whole high school basketball team got the 11s. Right. Right. That was 90, 95, right, OG. when the 11s came OG, out. Yeah. Uh -huh. So the whole 96. team got them, yeah. and I didn't. Okay. And like that was the one that like stuck, and, and yeah. not for any reason other than yeah. like my parents were like, we're not spending 100 bucks for a pair of shoes, right, you know? Right. So now it's like, well, I gotta get the, you know, I gotta you get got the ones that, we, <laughs> that I couldn't get, you know, that I couldn't get in high school. So like all of the, all of the stuff that I ended up getting is ones okay. because uh, Peter Moore, okay. you know, was a big supporter of, um, you know, our grade school growing up, just right. like down the street. And right. so he designed the one and twos and then threes cause of Tinker. And like, right. that's, that's the, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. and, and he's such a huge supporter of our foundation. Um, and that's like the threes and the fours are what every kid from our generation thinks about. Right. They think yeah, about, you know, true. And that, the 11s. The 11, yeah. yeah. So one, three, Four, eleven. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, let's start from the bottom okay. and kind of just go through the collection and okay. give us a quick little, you know, glimpse of the sneakers so and this, memories. And yeah, like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. So like the bottom stuff is just like you know every day, you know, just kind of beat around. Like, hey, it's raining out, you know, you know. These are like some of the most comfortable. Like those are, you know, what, yes. what do we call those? Those aren't latte or mocha or whatever the heck yeah, you know yeah but like those are some of the most comfortable shoes like no just, for sure that's just day to day honestly just, i feel like they look better too when they're rocked like this like yeah. it gives you like that vintage vibe like it just goes with a lot of fits and everything hey look i'm 45 I like, like i just want i want yeah. something that doesn't give me blisters no like, i feel that the, i feel that um and then i did these for my foundation okay um golf tournament a couple years ago okay the uh the future movement you know, and did them each with uh, the different school colors. So Dope. Oregon got the green and Stanford got the red. And Dope. so, you know, just fun stuff like that. Yeah. Um, Wait, so was this was this a sample or was this like a ID or like? That was an ID. Yeah. Nike ID. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. we did, so, you know, all the initials like, so, you know, we have, Dope. I get two of the athletes from all the Pac-12 schools to come out. So like okay. Steve Smith and Kevin Dyson from Utah. Dope. You know, it was Reggie Bush and Matt Barkley from SC. Like, so, okay. you know, just make shoes for them. And That's fine. It's, it's fun because like, fire. I'll get a picture of, you know, someone will send me a picture of like them wearing them on. Yeah. You know, Sanchez sent me a picture one time of just like wearing them on the bus or, you know, just That's out about you know or just driving around he's like hey got him on yeah. somebody what year was this or <sighs> 2019 time okay maybe? okay so about like five years ago maybe okay ish i don't know something like that yeah kobe you don't you yeah, yeah. Don't everything's remember. a blur <laughs> exactly <laughs> right. um what you got in the next row next row i mean yo make sure you guys stick around to the end of the video to find out how you can win both of these shoes for 40 dollars. you gotta like summertime it's just you know just some low top 11s okay you know just something to kick around so, so this 72 tan lows my dad also loves rocking this shoe right here yeah and i like the materials with the leather and the patent leather and everything on there i'm just a big 11 yeah. fan i know that yeah. you know the lows are like some people love them some people hate them but you so, know also, a lot of people have been talking about recently, like low tops are more preferred over high tops now when it comes to a lot of sneakers. So would you say like the same thing, like low top ones, low top 11s, like when it comes to your actual wearing rotation? My wearing rotation, if I'm gonna pick like, okay, one. Okay. Um, well, we're coming out of like, this is like spring, summer too. Right, so right, we're right. kind of changing things around a little bit. So two, mm, Okay. I would wear Wizard those threes. a lot. Um, I would wear those a lot. Mm. Okay, um, wait, how happy were you about these when they came out? How happy was yeah. I? Again, like this was like, it's nostalgia. I was so excited when like, I found out about these. This is, this is exactly what, mm -hmm. like, 
you think of when you think of like an 80s 90s child right right, right? yeah and so that's why it's like okay then you got to have them purple and then you know you go to the red, the red and then well we got a blue <laughs> and so then it just like kind of becomes like all right well like so yeah one three um god what did, i i actually wear these a lot oh yeah i wear these yeah. a lot i like um, those they're comfortable i think they're fun um so did you choose this colorway in particular out of the three yes. from the pack? Yes. Me too, I was the same way. I was looking at the three. I like the I purple like, one. Yeah. That one's cool, but yeah. this one. That I like one, it. I was like, that would be, that'd be the most fun. And that's honestly why I got, and I actually haven't worn these yet, mm. but I, that's why I got these okay. is because they're just kind of, they're fun. Right. You know, right. it's like, all right, they're bright. The other one was I got the purple, uh, purple. colorway. You got the yeah, purple? I got the purple one of these. Okay. I was like, hey. I like these though. I still like these. It would be different. It would be fun. Something, you know. Yeah. Something something to try. I wear these a lot. Okay. Other Air Maxes. What else you got for ones over here? Is this Air Max ones? These are, yeah. yeah. Okay. You got the denim over here. The denim and then the, um, oh God, I always forget how the. Um, I don't even remember those. You have to. We'd have to do some research on those ones. <laughs> they j and I can't remember the name of what they what they call them. Um, oh, has it got a Japanese writing on there? Yeah, it's okay. I'm gonna look it up right now. Wait, what? Uh, it's called. What uh, are these? These are clean. I don't know if I've even seen these before. If you Google search this number, yeah, this is how you find the shoe. FB eight nine one six one zero zero. Shima shima. There you go. I'm so interested in these. I'm like, oh, I have to get a pair. These are okay. kind of clean. These, okay. I like the, ah, I, the I, blazers. I, the Sakai, the Sakai I wear these a lot. Okay. These are in the rotation. Okay. Again, it's just kind of fun and yeah. different. Honestly, like the thing that I've started or kind of figured out, like we talked about, for me, it's not like having the shoe, mm -hmm. right? Because I didn't, you know, that wasn't, right, right, right. that wasn't a thing to me. It was, first it was nostalgia, mm -hmm. and then it was like neighborhood. Okay, Peter, uh, Peter Moore, and Tinker, and Northeast Portland. Mm -hmm. And then it became, my kids were old enough, or, well, my oldest became old enough to pay attention. Right. And when it was like, hey, uh, what happened at school today? Oh, uh, nothing. Right. You know, and then he looks down. He's like, "Oh, you, oh, you, you got something cool on your on your feet." I was like, "Oh yeah, you like that? Right. Now tell me about what happened in school." Oh, you wouldn't believe. Like, right. it was like the conversation starter right. for right. for my boys and and mm -hmm. their friends. And so like that's what it is now. Like all that's what's up. Where are the uh, I'm gonna grab these. Uh oh, we're getting into the heat over here. Not yet, not yet, not yet. But these were the ones, the good duck, bad duck. Yes. Ducks, which I think um, you were wearing those. When, yeah. Uh huh. Because you made a comment on that. Those were the first. That was when I realized mm -hmm. one of his buddies. I wore them to. I coached their basketball team. Okay. And one of their one of his buddies commented on them and asked me about it. Yeah. And we just started talking. And that was <laughs> when I realized, like, oh, these shoes could be a gateway to open right. to right. open conversation. Yeah. Like, yeah. if I'm gonna try to talk to a teen, you know, a teenager mm -hmm. who's, you know, I don't want to tell my dad anything. Right. But you start talking about shoes. You start talking Other about stuff. things that they yeah. like, and then all of a sudden, like, their guard it's, comes down. It's so crazy how like sneakers bring so many different generations, mm -hmm. cultures, ages, you know what I'm saying? Races, you name it. It just brings so many different types of people together yep. through a simple pair of shoes. Yep, yep, I yep. love that aspect of shoes. For me, it's the fun thing too, yeah, like I going mean, to city to city. Well, you people, and I would like, never would have connected right. before. You know, we both grew up in the same neighborhood. Right. You know, you went to high school, you know, a mile down mm -hmm. the street from where I went, but we bumped into each other right. at a sneaker right, convention right. and I happened to be wearing those shoes yep. and you and you commented yeah. on them, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, definitely. So let's see, we were on Speaking the Air Force or the Air Max uh, line. I where think you I see some Ted Portlands in there. That's where I was coming up next. Okay. Have you seen the Have you seen the Ted Force ones? So. Okay. I have a pair. Shut up. Yes. So originally, okay. when they did the promo, I was the person that was wearing them in the photos that they used for like the initial promo of the sneaker. Are you serious? Yes. So I had like the first look and all the stuff. So oh, I got a great, man. I got a great, you know, memory with the sneakers as well. It's so cool because I did a TED talk, God, what, like eight years ago. Okay. And so I think my year would have been like year seven or eight. Okay. And then COVID hit, right? Mm -hmm. 
And so they waited forever, For, forever, man. forever. Yeah. And that's what the uh, 1,164 right. is, is they had to wait 1,164 days between, until the next event. Until yeah. the next one, yeah. And yeah. so, you know, they're theme of ideas worth spreading mm -hmm. and I've hesitated to wear them. Right. Because it's like, <laughs> you know, and, and that's so funny too, because I don't, I wear everything else. Right, right. Like it's just, it's just Oregon it's, shoes. I think it's because like, it's all white too. Yeah, like, that's, like, uh, that's, that's probably it too. But like, they're so nice. This one is, this one's kind of special to me because like my, my TED talk um, was really kind of an emotional, mm -hmm. like, cathartic experience for me. And mm -hmm. so I think maybe there's, maybe there's a little bit more connection. So the Ted Force ones, this was actually, this mm. was the first pair that I got. Okay. This was the first, I think it was like 2012 maybe? Something like that, yeah. So yeah. this was the first pair that I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get a pair of I'm Jordan 3s. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna, yeah. <laughs> and so I've still, I've still got those. That's and, what's up. Yeah. Um, okay. I know I've seen you yeah, do yeah. A sh do a, a show with somebody yeah. who had these. So, and I've told you that um, I helped start the right. pit crew. So there was like a group yes, of us. This is crazy. There was like a group of us. Like, so there were five of us that would always kind of sit here. And then there are three or four that would always mm -hmm. sit there, you know, a couple over here at Matt Corp. Mm -hmm. And we were literally there first three to five rows every single game for like two years. And that was this when is, like- This is the college basketball, Oregon Ducks college basketball for those that don't know. So this was when like Dick Vitale was like popping up the Cameron crazies at Duke mm -hmm. and making a big deal. And I was like, man, why don't we, Right. you know, we, you get to know these people yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and just kind of, you know, start hanging out. And it's like, why don't we organize? Mm -hmm. And you know, we'd play at Matt Court and Matt Court's the pit. Right. I was like, well, the pit crew supports the team or the the race car, so why don't we become the pit crew? Right. And they're like, yeah, I, I like that dope. idea. Yeah. And so we, I got a room at the uh, at the CAS Center at the athletic department, and we had our first meeting there and met with one of the associate athletic directors. What year were you in college at this time? That would have been two thousand. Well, I mean, like sophomore, junior, like between my junior and senior. Junior, year. okay. Mm -hmm. So like so 2000, you got, 2001. You got leverage. You're balling. You it, got, it like, was this just is a perfect storm coming. Exactly. Okay. And it's like I can use my leverage to mm -hmm. get us a room to kind of help organize to get right. the athletic department on board That's what's up. and I can't even remember how these came about but um, it it was after the threes the threes yeah we'll show we'll show his Oregon PEs a little bit in a second we'll get to those we'll yeah. get to those but this is the most comfortable shoe I've ever worn really hands well maybe the uh was it 29? The 20. Oh, those, those are the, fire. Yeah, those the good are duck, bad duck. Those, yeah. those are the only ones those that might be. Too. But these, I mean, I wear these. Can we show like holes and, you know? Like, He's like, somebody <laughs> give me another pair, please. No, this is like, they're <laughs> shoes. They're supposed to be worn. Like, you yeah, know? but you got to keep doing it with the next pair, too, though. Uh, but like, that's why you have, a, you know. <laughs> My, my parents are like, you show up with a new pair of shoes every time. I was like, yeah. yeah. So that's how, you know, you keep, them, you keep them clean for a decade. I feel that. I feel um, that. Let's so, see. So we're here. These are my, oh, yeah. these are my, um, my coaching shoes. Okay. We, you know, all Saints Ramblers are green yeah. and yellow. So, so, you know, when I coached, we had to wear some that's green. Convenient. You know, there you yeah. go. That worked. Hey, yo, just real quick, I wanted to let you guys know we got a bunch of new merch on the website, shopdnashow.com. Also, you guys can click on any of the links of the product tag just below the video here if you're watching on your mobile devices. I can't wait to see you guys rocking the gear. Whenever you cop something, make sure you post it on IG so I can see it, and then I'll repost it. All right, let's get back to the video. And then up here, we went through all the threes besides the tinkers. These, I think. Yeah. The tinkers, because I got the swoosh on there. Um, yeah, now we're up to like... This is the, the high heat level for... This part of the collection, I would say, you got the premiums up there, you got the 11s, the fours. So, ooh, I mean, we, <sighs> where do you start? <laughs> yeah, I mean, these are, these are the. Um, God, are 2016? I think so. Yeah. I was gonna say 2014. You would know. 2016. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. This was the first uh, remastered Air Jordan Four with the Nike Air on the back, and started like a whole new chapter of. Nike Air on Jordan 4s, Jordan 3s, different stuff. So that was like the initiative of that shoe, the black metallic 5s, and then the maroon 6s. Yep. I, Just I helping you out. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Here, Here's how I explain it. Yeah, um, I remember Jordan wearing them when I was younger and I didn't get them. <laughs> And then I got them, and then they ended up in a closet, and then uh, I stumbled on them a, a few years That's ago. That's what's up. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll come back to those last, maybe. Okay. 
Cause you know, that's Yeah. Okay. That's it that's his shoe. I love the the premium. What all what, oh, um, the fours, that pack? Just the whole line. Did you get like, the whole pack? Not or? the whole pack. So I got okay. okay, okay. So we got the or the platinum, I think is what it was yeah, technically yeah. called. They had a few you, different colors of these, yeah. Like they're just so comfortable. Yes. These um I've only worn Those a couple times. I love these. Yeah. Um it's just so sketchy with the leather because if it gets scuffed, it's down bad. Like I'm not worried about one that. nick. I'm I'm right more worried about like like uh -huh. breaking them in. <laughs> See you you get all, okay. Wait, this is probably see gonna, if you break them in, it looks good because the, the leather starts to change color and everything. Uh huh. But, but this is probably scuffs, gonna kill you. Like I wear the hell out of these. I things. like that. Yeah, I see, love that these. looks good. Like these, are, like, ooh, these might be the second most comfortable. Really? Oh my! I mean, just like feel the. Yeah, no, yeah, you know, no. it's just like that. And there was a black pair and a brown pair, and I think was you tell me. Different? I'm trying to remember. These are nice though, and then the, oh, look at that sock liner on the inside, that diamond stitch, crazy. Gold hits with the metal on the back and everything. Yeah, these are fire. And they're comfortable. They're Again, comfortable. I'm a I'm a old I'm an old guy now. Like <laughs> knee surgeries, I'm a dad, like I feel that. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to wear something that's gonna give me blisters. <laughs> um, okay. So yeah, this is I don't say why we're here, but I appreciate you coming by. Like this is never in my life did I think that I would have my own Shoe. Shoe. Yeah. And not that I have any sort of like, you know, it's All not right. like a Sabrina or like it's not named Either that, but, way. but like to see our foundation logo mm -hmm. on a Jordan. And so here's the thing, you know, we talked about um, Peter Moore mm -hmm. and Tinker, right? Mm -hmm. So Peter did one and two, Tinker did, you know, three to what, 15? Something like that, yeah. You know, and I have to believe him because, you know, she said it. Tinker said this is the only Jordan one he has ever done. Really? So I don't know. I mean, I have to believe him, right? Right. Or if, that's crazy. Like to be able. I mean, it to makes combine, sense though. Why would he touch the one if that's not his shoe? Right. Like, so why to would be he able to, to touch it? Yeah, combine Peter from the neighborhood, mm -hmm. Tinker from the neighborhood. The you know our foundation, which is doing everything. You know, right. our focus is here in Oregon. Like right. it just, man. Like to be able to have our foundation logo mm -hmm. on a Jordan. Um, and to be able to raise money off of right, it, right. like that, that's the crazy yeah. thing is, um, is to be able to raise money for college scholarships mm -hmm. off of a shoe that combines Northeast Portland, like where I grew up, right. you know, like my journey through professional sports and right. into the nonprofit, like it's just, it's honestly know. three legends truly coming together. The two designers and you, like, coming well, together. <laughs> no, for real, though, like, if you think about it, like, whether you want to say it or not, like, you're a legend, especially in our neighborhood and in our, in our area for young athletes, for young kids, for young students, for all the different things. Like, you got to get your flowers, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, you've done a lot for our community, so it makes sense to why this will happen. It's not just, like, random. I don't think it's random. Well, I appreciate it, man. Um... I need to just like turn this light on. <laughs> I don't know if there's like a switch anyway. Um, well, this is gonna kill you though. Uh-oh. Cause there's a scuff. <laughs> Here he goes. <laughs> They're shoes, right? No, no, They're I, gonna love scuff. I love it's it. It's okay. Man. I love it. It's okay. So yeah, I mean, that's kind of the, that's the, the spring summer. Okay. You know, you gotta, it, you can't be, you know, rocking a bunch of brown and black. And, right, right. You know, that's I more that. like. So this is the this, this is kind of the, right now. Yeah, the current, the current spring, summer okay. vibes we got Okay. Going. Well, let's take it over here. Okay. And uh, we can get into the raffle at the end, but we gotta go through these Oregon PEs and uh, see what you're rocking with, what you like to rock the most, what you got. Mm -hmm. All the different stuff. Here, I'll, I'll pick one, then you pick one. All right, go ahead. Or how, how about we go, yeah, we, we've already talked we about, talked this about these a little bit. Like these, okay, again, like I wore these to coach my son's eighth grade basketball team. Okay. Right? So they, you know, they got a little wear to them, but mm -hmm. it's because I'm old and they're, and comfortable. they're comfortable. They're so comfortable. <laughs> But this, okay. So I this, try to tell people, they don't believe me. They're so comfortable. They're the most comfortable shoe I've ever worn. Yes. Yes. This, and then the pit crew and the the premium, the Baroque okay. ones. Okay. Those. So here's the here's the fun thing about these, is on the backside. So Tinker, I was like, what's with the uh, what's with the scary duck and the nice duck? He's mm -hmm. like, oh no no no, it's it's good duck and bad duck. Mm -hmm. I was like, all right, 
cool. Like, why? So, why? well, you know, everybody likes to be a good duck, but every once in a while, you got to have a bad, a little bit of bad duck inside. <laughs> I was like, okay, all right. Um, also, the the story. So I can't wear these to um, to any more games. I wore those to the national championship game against Ohio State. Uh. Yeah. Bad luck shoe. Bad luck. And that's was, the bad duck. Game, that's the bad duck. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You, now you, yeah, you pick. You okay. Pick. Well, let's talk about the 14s. Okay. The 14s. Yeah. We're just talking um, about those. Again, it's like, what I love is Tinker just came by and like dropped off. He's like, Hey, here's, here's what I was thinking for the design of it. Mm -hmm. Like, and he goes through like every little, you know, embossed duck and every, here's why we did this. Right. Or here's what this, and here's how many we made. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's. There's a story behind it, so you know? It's like, I was going for something for a classy duck look. I was like, <laughs> <What>? <laughs> right, hey, you know? So no, it's, these ones are like, they're subtle because all the tiny little embossed mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. ducks on them. Yeah. That's what I like about them. Um, yeah, I really like how they executed this shoe too. They're not the most comfortable if you ask me. Yeah, real stiff. You know? I feel that. But maybe it's because we're afraid to break them in. I feel right? like these ones are probably more comfortable than those ones. Um, what would you say? Maybe? Yeah. Maybe it's just the outside that feels that way, but maybe. I just know these feel a lot softer like to the touch, like the way the fabrics move. For me, it's the it's the high inside okay. versus the low outside on the ankle. Okay. That's the that's the uncomfortable part. For oh, me. it's like throwing you off a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. But they weren't de weren't designed for me. Were I get that. You I know? get that. They I can't complain too much. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> My name's not Mike, so they weren't right. designed for me. Um I wear these all the time okay like these are comfortable these are like these are like my go-to duck football mm -hmm. like just fall Going after i mean game. look it's like wool how many games do you go to a season maybe one okay i've been trying to get to one i've been slacking man i'm yeah. so busy i'm like i want to go but i'm just <laughs> I, got I, got kid, the time, I, got, I got kid soccer schedules yeah. i'm like driving i'm from one field to the right, other like back right. and forth it's tough yeah it's but tough. I, I love it it's like it's wool mm -hmm. like this is like i think of like pendleton blanket like oregon right wool yeah. like that's yeah you know and it's simple it makes sense. like it's just it's just one little duck right i like that okay, okay. last one here and then we'll get into the special stuff over there too. Alex Horwitz. He, I don't know if you remember um, the Sing Off. It was a, it was a acapella oh, no, singing no, no. competition. Okay. Had the dude from. It had Ben Folds and it had the dude from uh, Boys to Men, and were the judges. And Oregon's acapella on the rocks choir was what? on was on the competition. Okay. Um, and we were talking one time. I, I can't remember what we were talking about and. He was the president of the pit crew, like yeah. 10 years after me. Okay. And somehow it came up that I didn't have uh, a pair of the uh, the pit crew. He's like, right. how do you not have a pair? I was like, I don't know. I just I just don't have a pair. He's like, I have one extra pair sitting at home. Oh, my God. I was, so he said, what size are you? I was like, I'm a, I'm a 12. He said, well, I have a 12 and a half. I was, he's like, I'm going to send them to you. I was right. like, you have to have a pair of the pit crews. I was like, you're right. So, <laughs> so I have my pair of the pit crews, but I can't wear them because they're 12 and a half. So, so I got a, I need a 12. Okay. I need some, so if somebody's out there who has a 12 that wants to trade. Yes. You and me. There we go. <laughs> I'm looking too, because I'm like, a story behind a 12 and a half. It. Yeah. There's a story. That's what's up. I love the duck feet. This, ah, yeah, the feet on the, the back. The feet on the is... back. That's crazy yeah this is a beautiful shoe i love wearing my pair so here's and a i need another pair because oh, mine need, are tore up you need another pair i do so here's here's oh man i wish i had them okay so the o on the tongues right uh -huh. when i was in um when i was in detroit mm -hmm. we started doing some shoes you know when i was when i was playing and I would have them do, dang, I'm gonna find one before, before okay. the show's over. Okay. I would have them, we couldn't have anything. This was, you know, the No Fun League back okay. then. Uh, before yeah, yeah, everybody yeah. was like doing oh, their sure. own shoes and doing their yeah. own stuff. But I said, hey, what if we stitched a tonal O on oh, the tongue okay. and did an O on the the uh, insole? That's dope. So all of, all of my shoes in the NFL, whatever the color, like if it was, if I, we had to wear white shoes in Miami, we right. had black shoes in Detroit, right. it would either be white and black, the same color. Really? have an O stitched on all my. 
Damn. Yeah, because we couldn't, we couldn't have it, but I couldn't have it show. Right, right. Yeah. That makes sense. So that always makes me think of uh, having to hide the O. Yeah. Yeah, for That's what's up. Cleats. That's what's up. Hopefully you can find a pair. Okay. I'll okay. Try to find one. Let's get this stuff pulled out. Let's explain this last and final amazing. I don't know. What's gift? Whatever you want to call it. I mean, this is just dope. So I don't even know what I'm going to do with these. I mean, I. This is what, like we talk, you know, I was like, I'm not afraid to wear them. Right. I'm not wearing these. <laughs> so, so imagine like Tinker, he has this like longboard skateboard uh -huh. that he would paddle around the neighborhood with like a, a almost like a little rubber ball like mm -hmm. paddle on the end. And he kind of comes by and he had a stack of boxes on the front of the longboard and he walks mm -hmm. up. He's like, hey, Merry Christmas. And he hands, you know, thanks for being a good neighbor. And, <laughs> right. Okay. So I open it up. And it says, hey, Joey, just a little gift for being a good, uh, a good friend and neighbor. MJ's autograph is real, parentheses mine too. Merry Christmas, Tinker. And it says, enjoy your Christmas sneaks from Michael and Tinker. I was like, from Michael and Tinker? Right. What? So, they were a pair of the low 11s. And I don't know. Okay, What's it, I don't know if there's anything special about the. the it's patent. like a it's like a marbleized patent leather. But I don't know that I mean have they done those? I think there's a release that's like this, and I think they probably did special patches yeah. on the shoe. So they did, a, uh, on the tongue it says. Damn. Happy sporty holidays, and that's signed by Tinker, and it's Santa Tinker with a football. And then I was like, MJ's autograph is real. So then this one is Damn. Happy Sporty Holidays, and that's MJ. What do you do with that? I don't know. Here, <laughs> you, you take it. I don't know. Like, what yeah, am that's I, what, crazy. What, what do you do with it? Yeah, like, I don't even know. I'm never going to wear it. Well, you know, maybe just get like a fancy case. Your just wife would be put, like, no yeah. way. <laughs> <laughs> I got to keep like, them like up in the closet. Like, leave them in like, the box. <laughs> uh -huh, leave them in the box, you know, figure it out in like 20 years. But like. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I mean, just, and that. Just keep enjoying it, you know, pull it out every once in a while and just look <laughs> at it. <laughs> well, and that's the thing, like I keep coming back to it. It's like, it's that something that Tinker thinks about. Right. Right. It right. is. Thanks for being a, a great neighbor and a great friend. Mm -hmm. Like that's that's what all this is about yeah. for me. It's not it's not having the coolest thing. It's not about having the you know the newest or the like. It's about the story. Mm -hmm. It's about the neighborhood. It's about the connection. It's about the foundation. It's about Oregon. It's about you know how can we turn this into you know the next generation. Right. Like it's passing it's passing down history. It's mm -hmm. passing. It's like it's kind of like an oral history, right? And for Tinker to think of other people like that just says so much about him. And, and you know, that's that's kind of what it's about for right. me. Right, right. No, that's dope. It makes sense. That's a great segue into what oh. we got going on over here. So let's uh, just... I don't even know. Leave a golf clap in the comment section right now. We've been going through the heat. <laughs> now it's about to get real heated up. This is going to be you guys' chance to win some sneakers. So last year, you did the 14s and the last ones. Last year we did these. The 14s. Uh -huh. the, the 14s that they released. Mm -hmm. This is the, like on the, the 14s that Tinker does the little, you know, mm -hmm. here's what we're going to do and design it. So this is the, so he made, he said he made six pair. Okay. One of them went, I have one of them, so there were five to raffle. Mm -hmm. So it says, I think one of five pair on here somewhere. Where does it say? Five, oh, right here. Right five there, pair. five pair. Yeah. yeah, so five pair being raffled off. Mm -hmm. So it's it's my, everybody thinks, oh, it's Oregon colors. No, mm -hmm. no, no, it's, it's my foundation colors. Mm -hmm. And my foundation colors were based in, um, like Ireland, like green, it's mm -hmm. family, it's, that's in my family. So it's green and gray for my family. The other one that we're raffling off this year. Oh is, boy. There we go. There we go. Off-white Chicago ones. Yikes. This is gonna be a good one, man. The winner will receive both shoes. Both shoes, okay. yeah. And so that's the thing is like, 
we're 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 starting the uh, the raffle here. Uh, we're gonna run for two weeks. Okay. Forty bucks a ticket. Okay. Buy as many as you want. Mm -hmm. And all the money goes to the Harrington Family Foundation and our Community Leadership Scholarship. Um, and that scholarship is? We give four four-year college scholarships to graduating high school seniors from all around the state. Mm -hmm. um, it's not based on grades and test scores at all, but right. all about community leadership and financial need. Mm -hmm. What have you done to invest in your community? Right. What have you done to find a problem and solve it and make it better? Mm -hmm. You know, I tell everybody like, we get hundreds of applicants a year and I'm in this club and I'm in this club and I'm National Honor Society, great. You know, that's a wonderful accomplishment, but the ones that I look for are the ones that say, I started this right. club. Right. I started the beach cleanup club. I started the social justice club right. because that shows initiative. Mm -hmm. And then we take those students um, and we help open doors mm -hmm. because that's the thing is like, there's so many great leaders out there that have so many great ideas that don't have access. Right. And whether it's no access because they're in rural Oregon or because of finance finances here in, here in Portland, uh, we try and close that gap. All by giving them a scholarship, but also by connecting them with mentors. So how many generations do you think you got now? Or classes? This will be our 11th year of students, so 44 that's students. So, so that's, the, that's the cool thing yeah. is we will have 16 students in school all around the state. Mm -hmm. and yes, we do give scholarships to Oregon State too. Right. Like, right. Uh, unfortunately. It's not, yeah, it's not just Oregon. <laughs> but those graduates then go out and get jobs. Okay. And then they call us back and say, Hey, how can I help? Right. How can I be a resource Pay to them? Exactly. Yep. So what started as just like this small group of students and a mentor has turned into like 70, 80 people having family dinners Tough. and just connecting and saying, how can I help? And tell me about what you're interested in. Maybe I can introduce you to somebody. Mm -hmm. um, because that's, you know, I feel like a, re a broken record here, but like for me, it's, it's, it's community. Right. It's, it's helping the people in your neighborhood. It's helping the people that, um, that have great ideas that have passion that maybe just need a door open. For yeah. them. So, um, 40 bucks, I'd say 40 bucks to win both of these, a one of six. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> While he's doing that, basically, uh, the link will be down below in the description and you guys will be able to enter into the raffle. It'll be open for X amount of time. You'll see all the information on the website. Also, you'll be able to check out the website. And if you ever want to donate outside of this and you're seeing the video later, you can still donate on the website as well. So this is not just a two week thing. Like obviously for this raffle, yes, but the doors are always open. If you guys ever want to help or see somebody in a local area or know somebody else that wants to help the foundation in another way, please continue to reach out to me, him, or whoever else is a part of the team. It says one of five. This is six. This was six. Or the this one, no, six. no, sorry, that was six. That's six. Because that, that was, okay. and then when we were doing this last year, he said, well, I've got, I got these. And he pulled over his, off his shoulder. I was like, what do you mean? I've got all six. And he said, well, I had to make one for myself. So I guess there's seven. <laughs> so he signed this and he said, you know, he signed it Tinker and this is my personal pair. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, once you've gone through all five pair that you're yeah. raffling off, use this one as the last one and maybe you can send it to like an auction house or something and, and really try and, you know, once you've gotten like a national traction over right. a few years, right. then take this one to the auction house. Okay. And, uh, and yeah, that's crazy. I told him he might have spilled some coffee on it. <laughs> it was in his office. You know, it was, it was part <laughs> of his office. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. That's, uh, that's the super secret seventh pair. Dope. That, he just, he just decided to make for himself. That's wild. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. I appreciate us you, man. Yeah. And uh, if you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Like I said, all the links will be down below in the description. Uh, your foundation, Instagram, all the stuff. I'll make sure that's all tagged as well. Yep. And uh, you got any final words? We out? We good? We're good. I appreciate you, man. <laughs> all right, bro. I appreciate it. I would never let you down. Yo, if you made it to the end of this video and want to take your collection to the next level, I built a full community with private meetups with me and other members in the community as well. So if you want to be a part of that and get early access or behind the scene looks on how I run my businesses, it's definitely going to be a place where I can help you scale your collection and potentially start investing in other things outside of sneakers like real estate. So hit the link down below in the description and get signed up and I'll see you guys on the inside. Listen, my DNA, hey, probably, the hey, only probably. choice I like to make what I'm aware today. I would never let you down. Listen, my DNA, the only 